What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Chatting Comics with Space Chimp Comics. I'm Dan. And I'm John. And today, I think we're going to talk about some of our favorite books, uh, artists, writers, past and present. Yeah, because um, you know, it's interesting. You and I are both writers. Mm-hmm. Uh, and so we love writing these stories and you know, finding artists that can um, you know, bring our work to life. And so I just thought it would be interesting to share some of um, our favorites. Uh, you know, I grew up um, a little bit older than you, son. That's... I had you when I was a man. Right. Uh, so I grew up with a lot of uh, the Neil Adams uh, stuff, which I love his, his artwork. And, um, but for like storytelling, I liked Jerry Conway a lot. Mm. He did um, a lot of the Spider-Man uh, you know, run, some of the, uh, the major issues. He did Two of Dracula 1 and 2, a lot of the Werewolf by Night uh, you know, stuff. Uh, so those guys were the ones that influenced me. Of course, Jack Kirby, right? Right. In, uh, that goes without saying. Uh, you know, and his run on Captain America, which I think he was followed by Frank Robbins, who uh, had a very distinct style that I, you know, will say probably wasn't my favorite. And uh, Yeah, he's not as fondly remembered as Jack Kirby, I don't think. <laughs> right. He's not yeah. mentioned in the same echelon. Yeah, you know. so hopefully uh, some of these guys that are in our books, um, you know, will... Uh, and will... maybe one day somebody will be uh, making a YouTube video about them, you never right. know, or about us. Right. We'll see. Uh, so... Um, who were you following or reading or who were you or like? Yeah, you so, um, you know, like I mentioned in a previous uh, video, uh, Jeff Loeb and Tim Sale love their collaborations sure. together. You know, um, Dark Victory, Batman Long Halloween, Superman for All Seasons. To me, these are the iconic images that I conjure up in my head when I think about these characters. Um, they had a great run with Marvel where they did like a color series. So they did uh, Daredevil Yellow, Hulk Gray, Spider-Man Blue, That's and right. Captain America White. That's right, yep. And um, Spider-Man Blue, to me, is like the best Spider-Man story ever told. Is it really? It's amazing. I'm embarrassed to say that I haven't read that one yet. It's, uh, it's incredible. And uh, Tim Sale's artwork is like a perfect homage to uh, John Romita Sr. And the whole run in the late 60s, oh, you know, wow. with the Green Goblin and Gwen Stacy. Right. And basically, the story is about Spider-Man. He revisits Gwen Stacy's grave every year on the anniversary of her death. And he writes her a letter. Oh, wow. So the book is basically a letter... From beyond the grave to Gwen Stacy, talking about the beginning of their relationship, moving on, meeting Mary Jane, you know, overcoming the Green Goblin, and it's just such an incredible, beautiful love story and Spider-Man story. That sounds um, really good. It's amazing. If you haven't read it, you really need yeah. to check it out for sure. So we're back after a little technical glitch once again. Hopefully, we will get this all straightened out. But I was talking about how comic book writers have become more sophisticated as the readers become you know more sophisticated and our tastes mm-hmm. and the things we want to read. We don't want to just read about, you know, Batman, you know, like beating up a bank robber, right? There's right. some storyline. But I think a lot of that really started to change with Neil Gaiman and Sandman. Would you agree? I would even go a little a little further back and maybe say Alan Moore with Watchmen. That became like a New York Times right. bestseller. But definitely with Sandman. I mean, it, that the completely changed comic books. So different, right? I mean, yeah. just these intricate stories and plots and characters and this, you know, whole world that he weaved, wove, right. weaved, and I'm and a writer. There are actually anthology story arcs in Sandman also. Right. There's, there's this whole story arc where um, all these travelers from different parts of like different dimensions converge at like a, a rest stop, basically, or like a restaurant. Uh, they, they're trying to take shelter from a storm, so they all convene there, and they're all talking about stories from their, oh, wow. their dimensions and their lives. My favorite comic book of all time is actually a Sandman comic book. Is it really? Which, which one? Uh, Sandman number 50, Ramadan. Uh, it takes place in like ancient Baghdad, and the artwork is just yeah. unbelievable. It's so incredible, like how the artwork just kind of weaves. It's almost like panelless in a way, you right. know, and it's just gorgeous. And the storytelling, yeah, it's so sophisticated. It's so different from '60s yeah. Silver Age DC, you know. Now, I also loved all the like spinoffs, I'm, and I'm not sure if he wrote them or not, but like you know, like um, the ones about death. Yeah, 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 uh, yeah, which were you know fantastic. A artists, you know, one of the artists, you know, modern artists for me, uh, that really his work just blew me away was Dale Keown, mm. his work on Pit. Okay, I yeah, mean, like like those covers on like you just can't help but to stare at them and just love them. And yeah, I mean, I just love that comic. It was like too bad that 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 was coming out once every like three or four months. It wasn't on a. I know. Well, that was kind of right at the start of Image, right? It was at the start yeah. of Image. Yeah, I mean, there were so many incredible. I mean, Jim Lee. Sam Keith drawing, uh, Sam you know, Keith Max. Max. Yeah, he worked on the first couple episodes of uh, or first couple issues of uh, Sam right also. Max. Yeah, I think they're making a movie. Yes, they are. Finally, I know. Finally, 
but you know what's been really fun with 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 like this and I, I know that you've experienced it too is that because of the internet this magical thing called the world wide web we're able to work with and connect with artists from other countries mm -hmm. i'm dealing with an artist right now from egypt um you know one from the like you know like philippines you have some international stuff too right oh so, yeah uh, yeah it's just really cool it just makes the world smaller and um and it just shows you the like the passion that people have for comic books you right. know it's not just an american invention right. even yes. though we have stanley and jack kirby you know my colorist in nigeria is just as much of a comic book lover as we are here in the u.s you know all right i before we leave i am just going to put you on the spot real fast the mount rushmore of video you know, comic book artists oh wow comic so, book artists okay in, well in your opinion jack kirby honestly, Jack Kirby, yeah. Jack Kirby, Neil Adams, because he completely revolutionized the style with oh. DC. I mean, his run on the Green Lantern, uh, Batman. His Batman covers to me are just so amazing. Harry chested Batman. I mean, that had never been seen before, <laughs> right. you know. Uh, George Perez. From the uh, Bronx. Because he's just, yeah, Puerto Rican from the Bronx. That's right. And we met him at, uh, you know, Megacon. Yeah, and he was just ago. the nicest guy Great doing guy. $25 sketches. I mean, that's yeah. insane, know. you know. So I got to put George Perez up there. Um Lastly, man, it's tough. Um, is it cliche to say Alex Ross? His work is amazing and it's groundbreaking. So different. You always know an Alex Ross you know, cover, right? Yeah. When you see it, so. yeah. Yeah, I'm going to say Alex Ross. Oh. So let us know who's on your Mount Rushmore of comic book creators, artists, writers in the comments below. And please go to spacechimpcomics.com. And where can they follow us, Dan? Well, you can find us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, at Space Chimp Comics. Uh, make sure you like and subscribe to the video here on YouTube. Uh, hit the bell to be notified about any future content, videos, uploads, all that good stuff. I'm Dan. And I'm John. And we've, and we've been, been Chatting, chatting comics. comics. We'll see you next time.